Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Dubai. My last day here. This will be a quick video, a little bit from the outside to give you a glimpse of the place that, to be honest, I have not been exploring much. Maybe if I come back here next time, I will, uh, I will do that. But what I would like to start this video with is the news from Poland that I have for you. But before this news, actually, I want to remind you that YouTube now separates the recorded videos from the live videos. So those of you who are the Iranians out there, who appreciate work of Alexander Merkouris and Alex Christoforou and who are addicted to the daily news and geopolitical analysts they both provide us, you can have some extra dose because yesterday I was uh, honored again to have another life with them. You find the link down below this video. You can leave the comments as well if you have any knowledge about that uh, Smolensk plane crash accident that took place 13 years ago. That was our topic for our conversation. So make sure to check it out. And yeah, let's get into this news I have for you from Poland that is not really uh, from uh, today or yesterday, it's from a few days ago, but because I've been traveling and focused on other things, I didn't report this. And I think it's worth to record this uh, for you on my channel, even though in Poland there are many channels who already talk about it. And what is this about? Well, there was a TikTok video on the 22nd of April recorded by a Ukrainian woman. Her name is Oryena Diektar, I believe, if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, and that video that almost went viral, it wasn't a million views, I think, or maybe now, but it was a couple hundred views. She was explaining to her compatriots, to Ukrainian refugees, how to get the right to Polish pension just for a week of work in Poland. That Polish pension is 1,500 zł, which is approximately $350, a little bit less than $400. And I came across the article on the portal kresy.pl that explains how the Ukrainian refugees, let's focus on, on this um, particularly, are getting paid by Polish ZUS, which is like Polish version of IRS, and getting pensions for just a very short period of time. And she was explaining how they can take advantage of this law to Ukrainian people. So it says uh, that actually she is officially associated with the Women's Rights Center and presents herself as an expert on education and legislation of stay in Poland for the Ukrainians. And here goes this article more into details with numbers and money. So last year, 2022, Polish pensions were already paid to 3,276 Ukrainians in that time, it was uh, a little bit over 1,300 zloty per month. Now, in 2023, we have 1,588 zloty per month. Of these, almost 3,000 benefits were paid in the country last year, and 323 were transferred abroad, with some Ukrainian pensioners not having the contribution period required to acquire pension rights. So even when they didn't have those rights, they were still getting the money. ZUS spent 36 million zloty annually on Ukrainian pensions. For people who have too low pensions, the Polish state equalizes up to the amount of the minimum benefit. The social security agreement conducted between Poland and Ukraine in 2000, signed in 2012 allows Ukrainian citizens who have, in the case of women, 20 years of work and in case of men, 25 years, and live in Poland to pay the lowest benefit from ZUS. Even if this amount does not result from the contributions paid for them in Poland, citizens of Ukraine who have legally worked in Poland can receive two pensions. They must meet the conditions to receive this benefit in both countries. ZUS, uh, then, okay, here, the minimum pensions, Ukra the minimum pension in Ukraine is 2,500 hryvnas per month, which is around 300 zloty. So now 
we are talking 1,500, right? This is the minimum in Ukraine. Let us add that even in the case of Ukrainian pension of four hryvnias, so if even if someone receives only four hryvnias of pension, strange, but okay, the Polish state can pay over a thousand złoty a month to this person. It's a little bit more, guys, so bear with me. Grab my page. Let us remind you that at the end of the third quarter of this year, which is 2022, over 1 million foreigners were registered in ZUS, including almost 750,000 Ukrainians, over 6% more than a year ago. In total, oh, I'm sorry, third quarter this year, right? No, third quarter last year. In total, foreigners already account for 5% of all insured persons in Poland. So all of those who receive the pensions, it's in Poland, 5% of those are the Ukrainians. Uh, second, everyone. So this is how it looks like. Um, you can check out this article down below. I don't have TikTok, so I don't have this video that she was posting on TikTok, but you can find her probably by her name. If you have TikTok account, I don't. So that's how it looks like, that you don't have to even spend 40, 50 years working, like my father did, to require some pension. You can just work one week and Polish Zeus will help you out. While we have so many Polish citizens right now who are barely surviving. I don't think I should add any comments to all of this, right? Because we all know how the situation looks like. And I mean, if you don't even have to live in Poland, like how many of those people will be doing now? They will be registering in Poland, getting the pension from Poland, getting the pension from their country. We see how much longer it will exist, right? That country. It's another story here. And yeah, not... <laughs> Very, very unfair for the Polish citizens who are now barely, barely making the month, paying the bills, paying the high electric bills that went up 300%, trying to choose, shall I eat, shall I pay the bill or shall I buy the medicine? Meanwhile, I'm in this illusion on the desert, kind of better version of Vegas. Definitely more safe, I believe. And I will leave you with this, guys, that as I'm traveling the world and looking at all those places, I have to tell you that you can recognize the energy of those places. This place, for example, when I arrived in the evening, at night actually, was uh, all in lights. The buildings were very, very impressive, especially at night when you're driving through that uh, main highway. But you know, it felt like I stepped into the future, like it's not real. <laughs> and when I was in Sri Lanka, just hearing the sound of the ocean and looking at the beautiful nature and being surrounded by different sounds, of birds and the waves it was just a very different reality too so it's up to us what we are choosing right what kind of life you want to live i will leave you with this today everyone it will be a short video because i'm heading back to the hotel to pack myself again before i head to the next destination make sure to uh, check out that life i've mentioned and I will see you in the next video. Actually, I have an interview tonight, so check out that interview as well. It will be coming tonight, if not tonight, then tomorrow, uh, with a guest that I never had before on my channel. And I'm very, very honored to have a chance to have a conversation with him. So I'm not giving you the name yet. You will see it tomorrow. Keep an eye on it. Lots of love, everyone. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye, guys.